welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody this morning? Ah, we are much, much relieved. It's actually 1230. I had a horrible night last night. I was worried about my mom. For those of you who are brand new, um, my mom is sick. She is going to be 90 on the 5th of March and she had to have, uh, we took her to uh, urgent care. She went to urgent care on Saturday, got tested for the, we call it zombie apocalypse lockdown virus. And uh, we got the test today and she's negative, but she sounds bad. She's got, it's congestion, well, you know, she cold. And the done, one thing yeah. that happens with our, our very elderly is they get pneumonia very easy. We call the doctor, she's got an appointment tomorrow at 1.30 to go in and get checked out. So that's something I'm very, very thankful for. And I'm checking in on her three times a day, called her this morning to see how she did, reminded her, she found out if she ate, you know, reminding her if she needs me to go to the store for her, I can, um, you know, get her the food she needs. I even, I said, Mom, do you want me to go to lunch and, and drive through and get you a little hamburger, a little chicken sandwich? She said, no, I've got, I'm going to have one of my individual pizzas you bought me. Um, so Mom is not keto, but... Um, not at all. Whatever, not at all, but she eats keto when she's here. She loves the keto chow ice cream. She loves chaffles. Anything sweet that I make, she loves. So I just wanted to give everybody an update. Thank you so much for your thoughts and prayers with that. She is sick. Thank goodness it's not the, you know what, but she, she can still again? be sick tomorrow. Well, I don't know. The doctors, well, we'll see what the doctor says. We'll see what the doctor says. Anyway, you guys, are you guys following us on the February Spring Into Weight Loss BBBE Challenge? You guys can find this and get a printout of this on our website. Today is a 16 hour fast, six hour eating window. It's a regular BBBE day. What does BBBE mean? It means bacon, it means beef, bacon, butter and eggs. But if you go down to these notes right here, for those of you who are new, all ruminant animals are actually under the beef category. Cattle, sheep, goat, bison, buffalo, deer, elk, moose, reindeer, etc. And then under the bacon, it's all pork, all of the pork. And then eggs, all eggs. That can be, um, that can be quail eggs, that can be turkey eggs, that can be chicken eggs, all of the eggs and bone broth. So you guys, just note it's more than just eating beef, ground beef, steak. You can re eat all of, you can have the lamb, you can have sheep, you can have goat for hunters, you can have moose, you can have um, deer, you can have elk. Oh man, when we were at my sister's in Idaho, we had the most delicious elk. My, my sister and brother-in-law are hunters. She got this beautiful elk and man, not elk, we had uh, antelope and elk and yep. deer. Yep. Yeah, deer, three. antelope, and elk, that's what we had. Mm -hmm. um, the ground meat was a mixture, but antelope, her antelope was so tender and so delicious, oh my gosh. So um, just remember to add a little bit more fat with those, cook them in fat, bacon grease or whatever, because they're very lean. Wild meat meats are very lean, so on a whole. So just remember that. I love rabbit too, oh my gosh. Fricassee rabbit, mm -mm -mm. it's good. Good, good, good. Anyway, you guys, just wanted to tell everybody new you can go in the description below, go to our website, and you can click off that challenge. Also, if you need a copy of our recipe for any reason, you can't copy and paste it from the comments. You're not a part of our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. It's free to you. It's Living It on Keto with Wendy fans. Um, I will be happy to send that to you via email. Just send it to me. Love you did just, on Keto with Wendy Fans is our Facebook group. Yes, okay. I thought you were giving that as your email. No. Email address is you email address is loving it on keto at gmail.com. And Harry's gonna show the Facebook group and the email group. Oh, I am now, yes, I am. Because Wendy gets confused and so does Harry, because Harry listens to part of it, but then he's then busy I, like filming. I, like so. I don't hear half of it. I know. And if you guys hear the oven Let's clicking, face it, I just don't listen to my wife, okay? 
Be nice, Marty. Mm -hmm. Be nice. Yep, yep. If you yep. guys hear anything, it's bacon. Harry put bacon in the oven. We need some more bacon because we ate bacon yesterday with those delicious bacon and egg breakfast sandwiches. Which I would like to have again. Well, this morning I thought I would make something a little bit different. No, it's fine, but I mean, I'd like to have it again. Yes, because it was delicious, but we need bacon for that. That's what's in the oven. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, oh my gosh. I am, uh, we, Harry and I, always do 22 ounce water, ice water with some ice in it, and we do a morning <coughs> elixir with our vitamins, which we have here, and we are late to the party today. Like I said, it's already afternoon. Um, I'm working from home, and I just, just had a bad night. I'm putting 20 drops of the Daily Minerals in. What is the trash truck going around for? Pick what day is today? Stuff, I guess. Oh yeah. You guys, the nice thing about Phoenix is we have, um, is it once a month or once a quarter? You can put anything, anything out on the curb. This is where you put your old mattresses and your old furniture and whatever, you, pieces of fence and whatever. They come around for free and pick it up. You just have to get it to the curb. Pi there's piles of furniture and it's kind of weird the d day or two before they come around, but they come around and then they scoop it up with a bulldozer yeah, and they people, take oh. it away. So there's no excuse to take it yeah. out to the desert and shoot it up and leave it out there. That's right. Just, like people do. They take TVs out there and shoot them to death and leave everything right there. So, right, Harry? Sure. I only put 10 in the morning, 20 at night, so we get enough magnesium. Magnesium is great for muscles. It helps relax your muscles. We have iodine that we use. We only put one drop in. Uh, your daily minerals has iodine in it, but um, we use the drops, which the normal dose is three drops, so we're not getting too much iodine. I use, and this is for Harry and I, we are not doctors, we are not nurses, we are not medical practitioners. You need to talk to your doctor about adding anything, especially if you're on any kind of medicine. But we use MSM Pure Course Flakes, and my hands have been doing really good. This helps with cartilage and um, um, arthritis and those types of things. So for me, it's working, for me. Now, today I'm having some real light boost, you guys. This is an energy drink with electrolytes in it, and there is no uh, hard caffeine or anything like that in it. This is what it has in it. And it's the ginseng and the green tea that are the energy boosting. It doesn't give you any jitters or anything, so if you don't drink coffee, you don't have to worry about that, and maca root. So, plus your electrolytes. Would you like some of this, Harry, or do yes. you want your regular? Oh, wait a minute, is, that, is it lemon? This is the raspberry mango. Oh, okay. I'll try it. I'll try it. Raspberry mango. And all you need is one scoop. One little, one little dinky winky. One little dinky winky scoop. Yes, indeed. So it lasts a long time. Okay, here we go. These are done. These are ready. Notice I snapped the lid, Harry. I know. I'm watching. Because I... <laughs> Should I? Wendy likes to shake them without closing them. <gasps> oh, no. Yes, indeed. It just gets everybody wet and sprayed. She's always done that. She did, she's always done, always, I mean, always done that with putting lids on stuff. I'll pick up the lid. I put them crooked by mistake because oh, yeah, I no. try to twist them no. and it doesn't work. So I just say, forget it. Yeah, you gotta be real careful around my, you never pick anything up by a lid. You always want to pick it up. That's right, man. Test it first. For one thing, I don't twist things very tight because of my hands. So anyway, you guys, everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, does have a direct effect on your weight. Adding anything new uh, to your regime, over-the-counter medicines, um, cold flu, allergy medicines, all those things can cause water retention. So can stress. So can water, um, so can uh, lack of sleep, stressful sleep, stressful night. Yes, all those can affect you. Yes, they can. Where is this? Okay. Um, 
We, I made a wonderful breakfast sandwich yesterday. It was made with three eggs, one and a half slices of thick bacon, two teaspoons of butter on this delicious Italian bread that I toasted. It was amazing. And we both had a beautiful 12 ounce New York steak for dinner. And it was yum deliumptious. Total carbs were four grams. Fat was 97. Protein. I'm upset about the protein. Well, yeah, because we had this huge steak and we had bacon and we had, well, bacon doesn't really have as much protein as fat, but we had eggs. We should have had something. We should have had a little something. We should have had like a slice of liverwurst or Last something. Night, we yeah. should have. Yeah. We should have. Yeah. 1,358 calories, you guys, what we had. Now, the odd thing is, is I did go down. I went down 174.6. Harry went up four tenths, but he is taking. Uh, I took some really he good meds last night. He was, I, yeah, having a problem really bad with his hip. I'm having it this morning too. Yeah, so, so he's. I took another one. Harry, for those of you who are brand I new, a, I took a hydrocodone. For those of you who are brand new, he needs hip replacement, and it's because he has a big bone spur, which is a sharp, pointy piece of calcified bone that is grown away from the bone and it's sitting and you have this it's like a tire a, a, a soft piece that holds that into your hip and it's tearing and it's called the labrum every time i move and my it's tearing it rips it more. it more it's actually shredded there's no way it can be repaired so he needs to have a hip replacement and so he's having that done on april so i'm going into 12th. the mechanic <laughs> and they're gonna change the ball joint. Yes, they are. And it's robot assisted, so he's having a robot help out. Anyway, do we need to do the big board today? I've got not really. You covered it all pretty good. I think I did. And we need to eat because it's twelve forty-five. That means I've been talking for fifteen minutes. So I apologize for that, you guys. Thirteen have minutes, a lot of twelve seconds. People. people are asking us questions, so I wanted to get that ready. Come back in the next segment, and I'll share what we're gonna have to break our fast. Harry, turn off the alarm. It's got 10 seconds to go. And you bring out the bacon. It's right hickory smoked thick cut bacon it Smells today. so good in here right I now. I know. It does. Just in time for breakfast. I think we'll have breakfast. What do you think? Yep. Get some eggs going on, some bacon going on, some of this Italian toast. Mm -mm -mm. Italian bread toast. Ooh, and I want you to use my new, I want you to use my you new. You dunked it, look. Oh no, wait. Wipe that off real quick, babe, with a paper towel. Whoa. Not that paper, oh my, Mart, Harry. What? Grab a paper towel. Can we close this? Oh my gosh. That's the, that's the plate for the clean bacon. Mm. Why is it a mess? That's look at that. Good. I think we're gonna have to wash it. What? Here, close the oven. Let's clear this. There. But look at this, you guys. Oh, there is bacon gold plenty right here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ooh, Harry. Which one of these needs to be scrubbed? What do you mean? Well, what do you mean, what do I mean? Oh, did I screw up? Well, yeah. It's got grease on it, What's little on boy. You can't. <laughs> I've got grease on me. Yeah. Clean That's me, it. please. You know, See? Just clean them both. Do you know how? <laughs> With soap and water. Okay. okay. Some Dawn dishwashing detergent. Set it out in the Arizona sun oh, for five, five minutes. Five minutes, man. Yeah, pretty soon it's going to oh, get I that way again. I know how to clean it. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Oh man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh look, you got some pieces like you like. I'll save those till the end. Yeah, this looks pretty dang tasty. Start today or? Well, it's stuck. There we go. This wants to be buddies. To what's the matter with you? You, you are so naughty, Harry. You are a naughty boy. I don't even know what the heck you're talking about. Mmm, look at that. Cooking them in a cold oven and letting them come up to temp at 400 degrees renders the fat so nicely. Evenly cooks the bacon. Oh man, it makes it so nice, doesn't it, Harry? Mm -hmm. And it gives you nice, delicious, delicious 
Bacon gold. Bacon gold, for those of you who don't know, is all that brown, delicious stuff in the pan that you've probably been throwing that's away. That's left, that you've probably been throwing away. Unbeknownst to you, you can eat it. It's absolutely delicious. And I'll share with you as soon as I get this bacon Look onto all the this plate. bacon grease we got here, Wendy. I wonder what we could use to spray it with. I'm so excited. Okay, now, let's get a spoon. Yes. Let me get close so I can see what it is. Well, first mm. come to me because I have to explain what all that well, is. Well, I want to show them what you're explaining. There. For those of you who do not know what bacon gold is, or chicken gold. Chicken gold's a thing, too. Oh, yeah. When you cook chicken with skin on it in the oven, and you get this delicious, crusty goodness left in the oil, that is bacon gold or chicken gold. If you like salty, full of flavor, crunchy deliciousness, then you're gonna love bacon gold. Now, if you don't, if you're not, if salty's too, too much for you, and you don't like things very salty, you're not gonna like bacon gold. But I'm telling you, it is absolutely yum deliumptious. So this is what you do: you get the bacon gold, and you take a spoon. And you scrape it. And after you poured all the oil into your uh, jar You'll for keeping, left. you can scrape the paper. Look at that. Now, this is going to be very hot. Man, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Mm, right? That's bacon gold. And you guys, when you do chicken, same thing. And chicken gets this chewy, melt in your mouth, oh, yeah, that's delicious really pieces from the skin rendering. Oh, yeah. This is Harry's. This is Harry's. <gasps> Look at the blow. It's hot. Oh, you got it. If you like bacon, you you know this. You're going to love it. Because you like we've shown this to you guys I don't know how many times. Yeah, but you know. there's always a new person that goes, oh my goodness, I didn't know you could cook bacon in the oven. Oh my goodness, I didn't know you could fold it in half and put the whole thing on one sheet. Right. Oh my goodness, I never heard of bacon gold. Now you have. Yep. Let me know if you like bacon gold. Let me know if you guys like chicken gold. Because that is delicious too. Anyway, you guys. I am if gonna. You, if you guys got little ones running around, do not give them the bacon gold. Because they're gonna want it. They're gonna all want the time. it all the time. And you're never gonna get any. <laughs> Just be very quiet. Don't about share. It. Yeah. Wait until they go into the other yeah. room. Yeah. You know, and play, and then have your bacon gold. Yep, you got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, come back in the next segment when I figure out what we're gonna have to eat with our delicious bacon and bacon gold. All right, here we go, man. The first try. I'm gonna try this out. What is this? This is the one I grabbed out of the washing machine. It's our new... This is for it. straining tallow and lard. lard. You know, just lard stuff, you know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, right, and I'm going to drain it into here. So see, this is, this is really cool because it's got this little, little strainer right here. See it? You can kind of see through it. Okay. Little holes. And it winds up in here. And this is neat. It's got a little bottom to it. So this one, I think, are we, have we decided we're going to keep bacon in this one and lard in the other one? Which is, I mean, uh, render you know, we, the other one? What have we decided yet. on yet? Why don't you put bacon in that one? All right. You can rotate them too. Yeah, They're know. both good. Well, I'm going to use them both, believe me. Oh, yeah, we will. <laughs> wait, wait, I need fun. some. I need some for, need some? for cooking today. How much? Just a couple of little bits of spoonfuls for my liverwurst. Okay. Yeah, pre-melted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Is that enough? Yep. Okay, I'm going to pour this in here. See, what I do is I fold it under, paper under, so it makes it a little more stiffer, you know. Make a little crease. Then I hold it down on the sides like this. And then we go ahead and we pour it in, man. Watch this. Okay, I hope you guys can see down in there. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that looks yeah, wonderful. Yeah, cool. Yeah, works great, man. You yeah. gotta stand here for a while, let it go. And Let's, look at all the bacon gold. Look at all gold. the bacon gold. All, see, you can see all the bacon gold still in here. Oh, look, you can scrape That's the bacon right. gold right That's, off the filter. That's uh, right. You figured out what I was gonna do. Harry, Harry's not silly. I'm not stupid. He knows all about it. I'm not silly, nor stupid. Careful, because it's, it's coming I'm out. I'm watching it. I know all about okay. it, because I'm not stupid. Okay. You're not stupid. <laughs> you're oh, and you're laughing about that. No, you're cute. And not stupid. Like I said before, that's why they make teddy bears like me. There you have it. You're gonna show it. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't turn, turn it, it off. Back. I didn't turn it off. Don't get mad. She almost touched He's my mad. camera. Harry's mad at me. She's not again. allowed to touch the camera. Man, you can't put that right there. I'm cooking. Well, aren't you gonna scrape okay, this? Oh man. I'll put it right there. Don't drop it. All right, look at this, man. Now, you see that? You guys see that? Look, look. There it is. Now we're going to take this up and let's see how it looks inside. Ooh, Ooh nice and clean, clean, man. Look at that. Can you see that? Look. Oh, yeah. That Perfect. works really good. Look. Perfectly clean. Here's your spoon for your bacon go. All right. This is for me. Don't do it over the pan. No, I'll do it right here. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And that's, that's all mine. That's a bacon gold collector. You know it, man. <gasps> That's a classifier. It's a classifier. You got it. We done classified our bacon gold. Yes, indeed. Woo! Okay, come on, we're cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'll clean this part, the top part, and I'm just gonna keep this in there. I guess, right? We're gonna yeah. keep it in here, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'll wash this off next, but I can't do it right now because she's waiting for me. Okay, you guys. We are having food liverwurst Ooh. that I'm going to just fry up in a pan. Let me see what you did. Hold up the plate. What, this plate? Yeah, that plate. I got steak chopped and liverwurst. So I'm putting liverwurst in this plate here with some bacon grease that we just made. And then I'm taking this and I'm going to heat this up and then I'm going to put eggs on it and that's, scramble it. That's the steak we cooked last night. That's the steak we cooked last night. I already got my eggs beat. Yeah. That's like beaten eggs. That's right. And then I want the steak. So what? I just want to get it warmed a little bit. I've got two slices of our toast. Our Italian Bread in here, look yeah, at I that. Love that stuff. Oh my gosh. So good. We're gonna, gonna make have some more today. We're gonna have butter on that. Look at that, that's steak in there. Oh look at this now. We're gonna we're gonna put some put some eggs on top of it. What do you do with the uh stuff back there? What are you gonna do with that? It's just gonna heat that up. It's been in the refrigerator, and we're gonna have that on our plate too. I love that. Too. You know, I I don't like liver, but I really like liverwurst. Liverwurst. It depends have that on taste. where you get it from as to what it has in it. But you guys, cherry, Redmond's. Let me get the bag. You know, somebody asked which one is your favorite, but well, you notice that. I don't this know. This one, I don't say? have a favorite. Yeah, you because can't I like one's good on the one. cherry for the egg, yep, which is going nice. right in here. I like the chef's blend on my steak. We put the cherry blend on our um, chicken. Yeah, that was good. So good. It's really good on bird. Yeah, it is on fowl. Those yeah. two. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We got my liverwurst going. Ooh, we got my egg going. Oh. Gotta put oh, we got some of that. Yes, oh. we, do. we got two more steaks to cook tonight, too. Yeah, it was Valentine's Day. Well, this was the sirloin. What was left of that sirloin steak? It was a little bit tough. The one that we had night before last. Did you know so, it's Valentine's Day? Yes, I did. That's why I'm making my honey. The love of my life. A delicious mm. breakfast.
And you guys fry up your liverwurst. Oh yeah, it's oh, really man, good. Oh man, it's so good. It's when you fry bologna, if you guys have ever had fried bologna. Oh, that's so good too. Oh man, well, liverwurst is just as delicious. I think it's, actually, I think I like it better it's, than it's, fried bologna. It improves the flavor. It does, it's just, it's just so good. really makes it delicious. But don't bring a freaking piece of liver near me. Well, that was because of your mother and the way she, she boiled liver. Oh, and you had boiled the freaking taste, liver. Man. No, well, there was no taste. It was just all liver. You grill liver with onions and garlic and bacon fat with bacon. You'd change your tune. No, oh, you've tried. Yeah. You right. tried just to try. Now look at this bread, you guys. When, look. When we were children. Nice. When this, we were kids. Look. Look, look, look. Isn't that pretty? This just butters and toasts so nice, doesn't it, Harry? Yeah. Mm. So nice, you guys. Let's put a teaspoon of butter on there and smear it in and man. Gotta get all the nooks and crannies filled with butter. Yes, indeed. Excuse me. Eggs and steak are done. I don't like smashing my eggs into a billion bits either. I want some of this meat man. Yeah, you gotta have some meat. That's the hard thing, trying to get 50-50 out of this deal. Yeah. <laughs> and you're counting the pieces already. Well, I'm looking at I just know it. Are, yes, I am. Yes, you are. I know you. <laughs> now, let's see here. Well, wait a minute. Get out of my way, honey, mm, because no. I need to get this first. Before you start counting. She, she actually believes that I count them. Yeah, I know you do. Get the pan out of the way. Mmm. That smells so good. It just it enhances the flavor. You guys hungry yet? It brings out the seasoning. I hope you're not watching this during your fasting period. Well, it's one o'clock. I don't know when they would be watching it. Well, some of these guys watch yes, it at 1230 at night. Yes, they do. You are absolutely right. But wait! There's more! There is? Yes. Oh, I probably got bacon. You got bacon. Oh, man. If this is not a true oh. carnivore BBBE kind of breakfast, I don't know what is. Wow. Look at this. It's uh, my Valentine's Day present to you. I say it with food and love. Well, nothing shaped in the shape of a heart here. Well, okay. I get three. Would you like four? Yeah, I'll take four. Did you give me four? Count them. Make sure. And you want to count them too after you leave the room with your plate. Oops. Because sometimes, all of a sudden, one is missing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go. If I eat all that, I'm going to be very, very pleased with myself. Look who came to the party. Well, you know, you do need to eat it, though, because... Hi. <gasps> you smelled it, didn't you? No, we tried not to say the names because we wanted to see what here, happened. i got to give her a little bit of meat. Look, here. Did give you give it to her? Yeah. Give her a little piece of meat, a little bit of egg. A little bit of pea, a little bit of egg, a little She's bit of liver. Give her some liver. She needs liver. Yeah, I know. You you guys, we don't her. give her a lot. Well, you can't. She's because really she had, well, not only that, but she has Hill's Science Diet. That's her regular diet that she eats every day. And she has, yeah, but she has that, uh, she has like a prescription diet she has to eat from. Right? Yes. Here. Now, what does she get? Oh, she gets a little bit of bacon, too. Yeah. Yeah, once a week we gotta give her a little something extra. Helps okay. With her, which helps with the Sit down. digestion. There you go. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. okay. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? It's gonna rain your way. Oh look at this, she's like doing me all classy like. 
Let's see, where can I put this So, bacon? did you guys count them, see how many pieces of bacon I got? Because I had my back turned. <laughs> They're there! She does a quick munch. Okay, you guys. This is a breakfast fit for a king, or for my honey, on Valentine's Day. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed! And it better be me. Well, it could be Marty, too. Yeah, but yeah, okay, I can see okay, that. Okay, you guys. You know what that means. We definitely have got to go eat now. Yeah. Hey everybody. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Harry and I are at the Collins. Yes, we are. We're having healthy, healthy uh, keto. Yeah. We are gonna have the baked Brussels sprouts, mm. hold the sugar bacon, and hold the balsamic drizzle. Right. And we're getting a Caesar salad with salmon on top, you guys. And we will share Harry's being a cameraman. He just can't help it. Anyway, we'll share our food with everybody of what we're doing. I just got through to talking to mom to make sure she's okay, asked her what she wanted us to bring her. So anyway, you guys, we will share. Hope you guys are having a great and wonderful Valentine's Day too. Okay, you guys, we have our salmon Caesar salad. Doesn't that look lovely? It's absolutely yeah. delicious. And that's what I wanted for Valentine's Day. Yes, indeed. And here he's got the exact same thing right here. Right here, right now. Yep. Anyway, you guys, we're going to enjoy a lovely Valentine's Day dinner. Yes, we are. I hope you guys are having one, too. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Good night.